Okay, welcome back to another video, guys, on XTOR, and today we're going to be um, teaching you guys how to closet cheat. I know you're probably going to be thinking, you've copied Spooke, but I don't care, and I think I can make a better version of his videos. So, yeah, let's get straight into it. Now, I'm going to try and put it into one video, because I don't want to, you know, stretch time and across and stuff. Step one is get a good client. Raven B2, great free client. Check the last video. To for the link to install it, or you can use Vape Light, Drip, something good like that. Definitely good. Now, make sure you don't get anything too, too um, well known, like Vape Vape B3. It's very well known. It's probably the w most well known hack client out there, and it's pretty detectable nowadays. So get new clients, the ones keep updating it. That's what you want. You gotta set up your settings correctly, otherwise you're not gonna you're not gonna look like you're properly playing. So stay away from no fall and fast place and things like that. And keep things like anti bot. Anti bot means that oh, if you're playing like high pixel or mindplex, the um the bots like watchdog won't come and spectate you. Um it works pretty well. And yeah. Inventory move. This means I can move with my inventory. Pretty simple. Very undetect it's pretty undetectable and yeah it just works perfectly. Another one, auto clicker. If you set it upright it can be very difficult to detect. So my setting recommendations are eight point five to twelve point five or if you want to get a bit more ballsy nine nine to thirteen. I use eight point eight point five to I use eight point five to thirteen just because I have a little bit of a higher thing. If you're doing pop PvP, there's no point having break blocks on because it is a little bit more detectable if you have it on because you can just be hitting stuff and then it will stop when it hits a block. That if you have SS or something, it will easily detect that. So yeah, but if you're playing like bed wars or something, definitely recommend it. Also, always put rep weapon only on because that just makes it much better. Aim assist. Aim assist you can get wrong lots of things. So let me teach you the steps on setting up correctly. So you speed 45 if you want to look legit, 65 if you want to look a bit ballsy and then obviously you can go 100 if you want to look blatant. Now the FOV or the um, range of distance, not range of distance, um, field of view, FOV, is um, kind of based on what your actual FOV in game. So let's say my FOV in the game was 70 I'd be using, I, I hate this personally, I just don't like it, obviously it looks cooler but I just prefer Quake Pro, I would put my um, FOV is 60, 10 more, but I, I use Quake Pro, which is equivalently known as 110 FOV, which I like, and it works great, so 90 is what I'd use, distance, 4.5 is a good amount, it's not too far, not too close, Works perfectly like um, 4.5 blocks is like 1, 2, 3, 4, and like that. That's probably 4.5 blocks, so that's when it gets into um, sync. But let's see how it like this far. It's, it looks like you have aimbot on because you're going to be going on one player, so definitely recommend you put that on 4.5 to 5.5. That's when I'd say is the max that I'd use. Now, uh, one click aim. Click aim means only when you're clicking it will work. Because let's say you're just running around, it might go. <laughs> you know what I mean. So you're just walking around his spawn, and it just looks onto someone and follows them. You don't want that to happen. The ferro detectable. So put click aim on. Weapon only. Uh, actually, you should have that on. I didn't know. I didn't have that on. So it means it only works. So let's say I'm trying to fight someone. <laughs> Whoops. Then you, it only works if you have your sword out. That's pretty much aim assist. All done. Hitbox. Wouldn't recommend using it, although I don't really know how to use it, so that's why I'm not doing it. Reach. Reach. Very, very, very important because reach is gives you quite a lot of, you know, an advantage. Normally it's three, so that would be if I wanted to play really legit. Recommend going from 3.2. You can even go 3.1 to if you're playing on like mine menu, you want to just stop at 3.2. 3.35 but because uh, I'm playing on Hypixel so we can go to 3. Point, no, uh, we can go to 3.4 that's what I use personally 
Now, weapon only, definitely good to have. Moving only, not necessarily. And sprint only. I have it on sprint only because I, I always have sprint on, so it doesn't really make much difference. But anyway, onto velocity. Velocity is good to understand how this works. Settings are we use 93 to 90, 98. So if you have zero, it means you take no no velocity at all. Someone will throw an egg at you and you won't move at all. So you don't want that because that is blatant. I recommend putting like 90, 95. I put 94 or 93. Vertical 100 or 97. I can get it on 97. I can't get it. On. I'll just leave it on 98. Chance 75%. Always 75%. That means you have a 1 in 4 chance of it working, which is perfect. For your render, um, I tend to use play ESP. Um, I use green, mode 1. I have to use shaded or um, outline. Uh, don't wouldn't recommend putting invisible on because it all can be obvious if you're looking at someone and you know who's that and really it's an admin in vanish. So yeah, definitely. Red on damage, I think that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna leave it on that. Traces definitely recommend it if you're doing something like UHC, so you can because it goes a little bit further than play ESP. But I don't use it normally for more than uh, high pixel or something. HUD definitely use it I don't know if you can you and I think I don't think you can move it but maybe you can you can change it to just be like that I personally like chroma or rainbow I think it looks pretty cool um, you can't move it I don't think you can but anyway pretty cool x-ray I don't even know why you'd put x-ray on because this is for PvP. Chams, cool, don't use it that much. Both of these are very, very easy to detect. Sorry about that sound. Because they can tell that it's not an auto clicker. And yeah, I wouldn't really recommend using no fall either. Mini games, well, that can just go out the other exit. Fun, not much point, you know, you can spin around a little bit. But what's the point, really? You're going to be doing PvP. Other, water bucket. Don't know what that does, I'm not really interested. Now, self destruct obviously, I don't want to self destruct right now, but it works really well and it does not crash surprisingly. So, let's say someone's screen sharing you, just quickly just click on that. And when they check you in your mods folder, you will say keystrokes mod, which you can put on if you want to. Keystrokes, wait, <laughs> oh, I spelled it wrong. Keystrokes like that, obviously, I don't put it on. You know, still cool anyway. Now we're gonna go straight into Hypixel. I'm gonna show you how to not get banned. I'm gonna show you some doors right now. You don't. If you put your settings settings really high, then it can look really ballsy, and you don't want people to report you because if you get reported, then it's not good because you're obviously on not on high pixel you'll get screen shared because there's so many people but you can see that it's pretty OP this client it's pretty OP you can obviously let's say if you're a higher ranked player you don't want to be using as high settings as this but you don't want to be as confident like you have hacks on. You want to you want to not pretend. You want to be like you would without it. So don't go into things where if you didn't have hacks and you wouldn't win because that's not good. People like this. I hate people like this. Now you still need to strafe and W tap with this. But anyway, that won't be too difficult because. Closet cheating is for people who already know how to PvP, but they cheat anyway. Because why not? It's pretty cool. Might as too much. Get onto the PvP. Strafing. Just just word around them. Just W tap W tap once or twice. You'll win if you have the auto clicker on. As you can see, I'm getting to between getting about 11, 10 to 11 CPS. Is all you need really. You don't really need any more than that. 
it won't do much in long term. Okay, when you get up against a good player like this one, strafing is key because he was a MVP plus and he's a master, master five. And with those people, you wanna obviously you wanna have GG because if and plus if you're if you don't have any rank, it's gonna look a bit fishy. So have some sort of rank. Work your way up, legit first. I'd recommend. Don't cheat straight away. So you know, you don't look so much as a cheater. Now let's say you get into like a PvP group. Now when that happens, you really don't want to be uh, using. You want to be using a very good cheat. So a private cheat, like a private auto clicker. Do not use vape because that's going to be detected. Because when you have in a PvP club or something, I know it sounds a bit gay, but there are some out there. My friend one, one of my friends got scouted for one, and yeah, he had to buy a really expensive one. But he's still playing there now. Obviously, I'm not going to say his name, but yeah, it works out pretty well. But as soon as that happens, you're going to be playing on special servers, which people, are, which is going to be streamed and watched, and um, the SS probably um, cheat detector is going to be on it. So yeah, just make sure that um, if you ever get into one of those, then you get a quality one. But other than that, if you're just a normal person, like me, wanting to closet cheat, this should do fine for you. Maybe if you do want to do like some more exploitant stuff, do not you get a um, an expensive client. But other than that, don't really need anything else in this. High pixel have really bad, um, really bad um, cheat detector. So I just use this because I can't be able to pay anything yet. But um, if any any people want to sponsor me, that's great. I will review your client, and I will not. Obviously, I will be. I won't be biased because obviously you don't want. If your client is a good, I'm not going to be. You should get this. As you can see, this is a great client. It's great. It's it's undetected. You should use it. Trust me. This guy took a year to make this using all the modules. One thing, Steeler, I saw my player is on though, right? But look, it's not it's not even on. There's nothing around the guy. So definitely, that's my only downside. Oh my god, I can't believe I just missed that. But yeah, definitely work on your strafing. Another quick tip: get good. Maybe not get good, but get all right and legit, so that when you play with cheats on, you don't look like you're blatantly hacking. Because if you're just have like really rich and you're just like you know not knowing what you're doing, then yeah. So recommend if you're going on to higher spec servers and you're using this cheat, make sure you put Jitter on. Because I'm using Jitter right now, but because it's high pixel, it's dog, it's dog trash. You don't need to if you have it on. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video on how to close a cheat. Uh, I think I gave a few more tips than Spooky did, but just uh, leave a comment in the description if you liked it. Like and subscribe. Bye.